Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with a game called The Aquarist, and I was offered a key to check this out. It looks like it's going to be a very calm, relaxing game, and I think a lot of you guys love games like that. I mean, after all, you watch my fishing games, so this is taking care of fish. So it's still in the same sort of genre. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and check out the tutorial. My understanding is there is a storyline that you can follow as well. But I'm going to need to figure out how to do the gaming controls and what needs to be done. It says, Welcome Aquarist. First time setting up an aquarium. Let me show you the basics here during the tutorial. Fish are quite delicate creatures, so we have to take care of their comfort and safety. Are you ready to begin? You can also skip the tutorial and start making your ideal aquarium. Well, I'm going to go through the tutorial because I have no idea how to make this thing work. Uh, it looks like you have an option for realistic mode, and this is where you need to take care of the fish's needs. Fish can die, etc. I don't know. I hope to God this isn't one of those ones where you don't play the game for a while and it's real time and the fish die if you don't come like every day and feed them. But. If it does, I'll, I'll shut that off. But for now, let's go into the tutorial. Move your mouse to look around. Okay. Well, that's well, pretty basic stuff. Okay, tab to open the shop. Select a section with aquariums and buy it. So that's this little spot here. Looks like we've got a small one and a regular one. Let's go with the regular one. Default but nice aquarium. Traits, I'm not sure what that means. Looks like it has a little starfish and a little plant. Well, we'll go ahead and buy that. Press Q on the aquarium to inspect it and see what type of water it is, etc. So Q. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I probably have to get out of here. Yep. Q. Okay. It is very important to put the correct type of fish, plants, and decorations in the appropriate type of water. Otherwise, they will die. Let's see. Got this plus this equals no. This plus this equals yes. Close. Okay. Traits. Capacity 118 gallons. So it's a big one. Large aquarium that can accommodate many fish. Standard shapes give it the impression of a classic aquarium. Durable and practical. Press Q. Traits. Let's see. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Buy the shovel, buy the shovel and some soil. Press tab to open the shop. Okay. So I need to buy soil. Here's the shovel. I'll go ahead and buy that. And okay, looks like you can get plants here, but there's also soil. Let's see, click to change subcategories. What kind of soil should we go with? We got all kinds here. I like. I think I like this pink looking. Yeah, there we go. Bag full of soil. I'll go ahead and buy it. Pick up the new soil and the shovel. Oh, we gotta actually physically pick them up, huh? Alright. Press select one, let's select the shovel. Click on the aquarium and start applying the soil. Click on the bag with soil to scoop up the soil. Okay. Oh wow, this is like really doing it. <laughs> yeah, I like those rocks. That's something I probably would have picked in real life too. Okay, right quick to finish applying soil. Alright. Right click to drop items. So we'll drop that right there and we'll drop that right there. Alright. Buy a bucket. Buy a bucket, huh? Let's see. I need a bucket. Where's a bucket? There's a net. 
There's a sponge. Hose. I don't see a bucket. Oh, okay. A uh, mop. Food for corals. Okay, here's a bucket. Pick up the bucket and press on the aquarium to pour water into it. Whoops, looks like I bought more than one bucket. No, that's alright. Well done. Buy more buckets in the same way to fill the entire aquarium. I guess it wasn't a waste of time to buy the bucket. And we're not even close to having enough there. Let's see. With a bucket, you can pour the water into the aquarium or extract it with a hose. Right click to throw out. <laughs> Just throw it around. Let's see here. I think I'm going to need at least two more. Yep. I thought I bought another one. Yeah, here it is. All right. Buy and pick up the salt. Thanks to which, you, thanks to which you can change. I think they spelled that wrong or did something with the. With the English is not right. I think they want me to buy a salt. Is what they're basically saying. All right. Let's see here. All right. There's salt. Highest quality sea salt. You can use it to turn your aquarium into salt water. But be careful not to forget to get freshwater fish out of it. <laughs> Duh. The packaging is sufficient for one aquarium. All right, that works. All right, while holding the salt, click on the aquarium to add it and change the water into salt water. Are you sure you want to change water salinity? Remember that fish and plants in the wrong water will die quickly. If you want to change to fresh water, pour out all the salt water. Well, I don't want to see that again. I'm pretty... Sure, I'm good to go. At least that one you could throw out. Buy and pick up a rock for your aquarium. Okay, where would that be? Let's see. Decorations. Rocks. Let's see. Looks like I've only got one option here. There's my rock. It says make decoration big. Hold the right click and click left mouse button and drag to rotate and scroll to scale it. Bigger costs more. Okay. <coughs> there we go. And we'll place it right there. There we go. <coughs> it's a very nice rock. All right, let's see here. What could we put in here? We've got shells and all kinds of decorations here. Let's see. None of these are, I don't know if these are alive or not. Doesn't seem like it's particular about what you get. Oh, I'm getting that. Let's see. Let's get a let's get a wooden stick and yeah let's get a sculpture <laughs> and let's see we'll, we we got to get at least one or two plants yeah let's get some water plants let's see fresh water okay that's fresh water. So, hydrophilia, 
How do you know which is the right kind to get? That's the thing. I guess... Oh, that's it. Okay, so this is salt water. There's seaweed. All kinds of different kinds of seaweed here. Let's grab that. So they wanted us to get four. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, let's see. Pick out the plant. Make it a little bit bigger. Pick up the stick. Yeah, that's one I definitely want to make bigger. Yeah, I'm going to put it like that, I think. And then I'll get this sculpture. That's just like the in the screen. Let's see here. All right. All right, now let's see if we can place it. Uh, let's put that right there. Let's see if we can't make this bigger. Wait a minute, I can't get to it real well. Let me get over here. Okay, I don't know what the deal is, but I can't seem to place this one. It might be because of the way I got it positioned. Let me try rotating it again. No, I cannot place that darn thing. Now well, let's go to the fourth one. See, that one I can put in there. Well, at least I got it in there. There's four, four items. Okay, now buy and put ten decorations into the aquarium. Five of ten. Okay. I think we're going to put some more seaweed. Let's buy that. Let's get some red. Some of this. Ooh, that looks good. And what do we got here? We've got this is what is that? Oh, that's more of those things. Yeah, let's get a shell. What kind of shell? What kind of shell? Let's get one with us like that. And we'll get another shell. How many have I got so far here? I kind of lost track here.
Object is touching glass. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Well, let me go ahead and pick all these up. There's the shell. Alright, let's see. Yeah, let's make this a little bit... Oh. Yeah, you can't make it touch the glass. Oh, okay, now I see how it works. If you scroll this, you can put it where you want. Okay. I'm going to make this much bigger. And then I'm going to position this right here. And drop it. Let's see, right click on the decoration such as the stone to make it static. This way other decorations won't overturn it. Alright. Buy a filter, okay. So far it's looking pretty nice. Kind of basic, but nice. Okay, I would imagine it's down in here. And here we go. Filter. Most important factor of having a best is having the best aquarium filter. All right. Put the filter into the aquarium. Okay. Let's see. Let's put this in the back here. Wait a minute. object is touching the glass so there we go Chris Q to inspect aquarium capacity 110 larger than okay buy a heater We need a heater. Now, where would that be? Right here under thermostats. That makes sense. Fish do not produce their own body heat, so keep your aquarium at the proper temperature. Now, we need to put it into the aquarium. So. There we go. By a thermometer. Boy, they're making you go one step at a time here, but. It... Oh, here it is. And we put that in the aquarium to control the temperature. There we go. The aquarium is ready to let the fish in. By five Ocelaris clownfish. So we need to buy five of those. Oh, cool. And they're in their own little baggies. <laughs> now put the fish in the aquarium. Click on one to pick it up. All right. Each fish has its own stats. 
click the right mouse button on the fish to inspect it. Well, he's got to stand still first. Stand still. There. Oh, Slurus Clownfish. Traits. Hunger. He's in the middle. He's getting hungry. Temperature. Not in the best place. Condition of the fish is shown by its parameters. If the fish is satisfied with each of them, it will grow and give birth to offspring. This is a good way to earn money by buying small fish and breeding them until their value increases. Big ripe fish can be sold for you can can be sold for you to get even more money. Okay, that's not good English again. If we neglect the fish, it will stop growing and giving birth, and in extreme cases it could die. So we've got just the right amount of fish in there. Decorations, eh, not quite enough. Plants, not quite. Well, they're sort of happy about that. Temperature's not great. That, I'm not sure how to fix. The hunger level shows whether the fish need food. Fish that lack food die. The fish are happy when they are fed. Fish that are predators and are hungry will hunt other smaller fish to feed themselves. The temperature is very important for the fish. Try to keep within the range indicated by the fish, thanks to which it will have good conditions for growth and reproduction. When the temperature is too low or too high, fish will be unsatisfied and may even die. Fish require different numbers of plants. Try to keep the number of plants within the suggested range so they feel good. Remember that plants also grow and you need appropriate parameters to survive. Buying small plants and selling them when they are large is a good way to earn money. Okay, that's cool. And it looks like he's, they're too cold. Fish tree decorations is a place where they can hide and as, a, as, as a variety in their environment. To make sure there's enough of them to make the fish feel good. Remember that the, only the appropriate items work for, get, for a given water. Example, freshwater water, stones, salt water, corals. All right. Some fish like to live in small groups and prefer a lot of company. Match the right amount of them so that they feel good and can reproduce. Sometimes you have to buy new fish. Other times you have to catch or sell them. It's worth checking the condition of fish from time to time. If this alert appears on the screen, it means one of the plants is in poor conditions and is dying. You have to find which one it is and make the conditions friendly again. If this alert appears on the screen, the fish is in critical condition and is dying. Find it and make its parameters return to normal to save the fish. This alert appears on the screen. It means one of the aquariums does not have a working filter. Fish in such an aquarium begin to die from lack of oxygen. You have to, to, you have to fix this. We need to take care of our fish. Buy and pick up fish food. All right. Let's see. Fish food is here. I think. Yep. Fresh water, carnivorous salt water. Okay, well, I'm not sure. I think these are her fish for food for corals. Freshwater herbi herbivorous fish. Oh, this is freshwater. That's the only one that's unlocked. <laughs> Food for corals. All these are locked, I think. Yeah, I can't get any of these. Well, that's the only one I, only one I have. You can feed the fish by clicking on the water surface. Click right to throw out. Congratulations, this aquarium looks great. Whoops. One week later. Oh no, we forgot to turn on the filter and give the fish some oxygen. <laughs> That's not good. Buy and pick up a net to get these dead fish out. Oh, good lord. This looks like what usually happens to me <laughs> when I try to have an aquarium. All right, I think they're just running you through the situations. Okay, we need to get a net. Oh, gosh. Use the net to put 
Use the net to put the fish inside the garbage can. So where's the garbage can? Right here? Yep. That's gross. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. There we go. Oh, this tank is disgusting. Yeah, and these are saltwater fish. I'm telling you, they are not cheap. Panes are covered with algae. Buy and pick up a sponge. Alright. Let's just put the net right there. Scraper or sponge? Sponge. Buy that. Now click on the panes of the aquarium you want to clean. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> you gotta keep them clean. Let's see. Alright, this is going to take me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, we got the tank clean. Okay, let's right... Let's put this over here. Let's right-click the filter to inspect it. <laughs> Helps if you enable it. There we go. Now we're in good shape. <laughs> right-click on the heater to inspect it. Enable it to warm the... F f uh. Enable it to warm the water for the fish. Okay. So they didn't tell me to do that. Okay, it says it's in the... As an, I've been terrible about talking here. It says it's not underwater, so let's go ahead and... Alright. It is underwater now. Temperature, let's put it up to... Well, I I assume this is Fahrenheit. Let's get it up to 70 or 69. That sounds good. Now the aquarium is fully fish ready. Buy and drop in fish. So we'll try this again so we can kill some more. <laughs> All right. Same thing, I assume. Something is missing here. I know. Buy and pick up a background. All right. Let's see. Background. Ah. So make the tank look really nice in the background. Well, let's see here. Aquarium background. What should we pick, guys? Just rocks? Yeah, let's just get that. All right. All right, we're going to put it on this side. Oh, now that's nice looking. Okay, now pick up some decoration and put in the back put it on the background to make a unique composition. Okay. So let's get a rock. Let's get a different kind of rock this time. Yeah. There we go. Let's rotate this. I'm going to make a little bridge here for it.
There we go. Now let's click on the fish and see if they're Well, I can't seem to click on any of the fish. Let's make this static, by the way. Oh, I did get the fish. Okay, temperature. Still not real good. Still need more decorations. Still need more plants. And it's hungry, so let's get... Feed them. There we go. I just kind of hurl stuff around here. Alright, we'll get some more decorations. Let's get uh, this. Let's see, I don't have that. I can't get that shell yet. Okay, it's making me get rocks. So, that's a nice rock. We'll buy that. And I'm going to get. Apparently that's all it wants is for me to get rocks. <laughs> well, there's some driftwood. We'll buy that too. And a wooden root. Alright, now let's put this in here. We'll make this a little bigger. Okay, how did I do that? <laughs> eh, it doesn't look too bad, but it's not exactly where I wanted it. Put the root there, and then we'll put this little bonsai tree thingy. There we go. There we go. We can still make our aquarium better. Buy and pick up a lamp. There's a lot of stuff to do here. Okay, there's a lamp. Buy. Now set the lamp, place it on top of the glass. Wait a minute. And right click to inspect it. We well, can look at it. You can have different colors. That's cool. You can have it blue, green, yellow, red, pink, and white. Let's try red. Let's see what that looks like. It's enabled. Oh, that's cool. What happens if you get it up to full power? Yeah, it's a little bright. Let's put it about halfway. There we go. You can also remove decorations from your aquarium. Choose one decoration and put it inside the trash can. Well, let's see. I kind of like all my decorations, but I'll take that one, I guess. Let's see, G to delete. Wait a minute, I did choose it. Where did it go? Okay, and then we throw it away, I guess. Time to see our aquarium up close. 
Click on the aquarium to switch to free movement mode. Now you can view your aquarium from anywhere, move around. Once you're done viewing, viewing your aquarium, you can exit the free movement mode by right click. Okay. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the Aquarist Introduction Tutorial. If you enjoy it, you can buy it on Steam. Well, we've already got it. Click on Buy Game button to see more information. I guess that was in the demo, because there is a demo. But this is showing you just what kind of aquariums you can set up eventually. You can get into these really huge aquariums, like you see in um, Ripley's and Newport places like that alright let's go back to the main menu well there we go guys that was the tutorial I think I may take a look at the the story load story mode then probably in another episode still kind of a first look but we want to that was pretty lengthy but anyway that is Aquarist I think it could be a lot of fun. I mean, you obviously have to take care of the fish. Look at these fish, though. Aren't they neat looking? This is a saltwater tank. These fish are really colorful. There's living coral in it. That's what I want to eventually get to. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think. Anyway, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.